Moblin 2.1. With its tiny Intel Atom chip, Moblin has the power and speed to run multiple applications. This is my zone. It brings all your activities together in one dynamic space. Here you can find the latest news, updates from your social networks, as well as catch up on any missed calls, view recently accessed media, and see your upcoming tasks and events. You can also get to your favorite applications from MyZone. For example, you can have instant web access. Moblin is designed for multitasking, so if something else comes up, Moblin's simple zone switcher allows you to flip through your open applications for those unexpected moments you'll want to share with your friends. And did we mention that it's also a phone? At a big picture level, there are smartphones, mm -hmm. there are mainstream phones, and there are voice phones, right? Smartphones of tomorrow are more like computers in your pocket, okay. right? Um, that's the segment we are targeting. If we just look at that segment, in 2008, this is mine, right? 2008, that was 150, 175 million. Right. Um, big. When I go out 2012, 2013 time frame, you go from 150 million to north of 400 million. Right? That's the segment we are interested in. We are not interested in the voice segment, the voice phone segment. We are not interested in a mainstream phone. Um, and I define a mainstream phone as, uh, you know, color, camera, SMS, MMS, right? That's not our target segment. So this is the device home screen. At the top you have the tiny toolbar which um, displays the time and date, the device status and notifications. The remainder of the screen is um, displaying my zone, as you just saw in the, in the video earlier. This essentially surfaces all your um, recently used content, social network feeds, up and coming tasks and events, and you can also um, get shortcuts to your favorite applications. If we uh, double tap on a, a tiny toolbar, it brings down an array of panels. This is the zones panel, which I'm going to come back to in a second. So let's just switch to the, to the people panel. Now, as in Moblin, we really care a lot about the people. So here we have the dedicated panel just, just for your contacts, where you can quickly and easily um, you know, engage in a, in a conversation, whether that be via IM, um, via standard call, SMS. This um, essentially allows you to broadcast um, to all of your social networks. Again, really quickly and simply, you can just enter in your, you know, what you're up to on a day-to-day -day basis and just send it off and you know, it posts it to your social networks. I'd also like to show you the um, applications panel. This, again, gives you uh, quick and easy access to all of your applications on your device. So you can just come here, you know, search, or quickly just uh, tap on one of the icons and then it will launch the application. And then finally, the uh, zones panel. This allows you to really simply and quickly flick through any of your running applications, which again is a, a, is a real advantage with the platform we have in that we can actually run multiplications, no, no problem at all. Uh, let's pop onto the, to the browser. Um, this is a really interesting area, as I was talking about earlier, where, you, where we have actually reused much of what we did on the netbook, so it has the same um, full internet experience, so you have you know, built with the Mozilla-based engine. If you're going to a store to buy a data device, an internet-based device, a media device, a navigation device, the next generation smartphone, where most of the time you are going to do internet-based things, but you also want voice every once in a while, you are my target segment. Where does this fall into your target segment? This is a good example of next generation smartphone. Um, the team doing this is the uh, open hand team right? that Intel acquired uh, last year. And it's not that we did the network UI and then shrunk it. 
to this UI. That's right. right. Yeah. It is network UI is one team. This is another team designed from scratch. Is this going to be all open source like Web2? Um, no. So um, basically, the Moonstown software stack is a combination of open source pieces and closed source pieces. Examples of open source would be browser, you know, the kernel. Um, this reference UI. Is reference UI, mm -hmm. con man, mm -hmm. or connection manager, right? Examples of closed source pieces would be announcements we made today. Silverlight, Adobe Air, Flash, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. telephony stack right. from Open Plug. Mm -hmm. Right. So, Codex. Codex is another good example. Yeah. You know, um, the media framework, so real. So it's very similar Codex. to Open too. Very similar yeah. in the way that the open and closed yeah. source are. So combined. will uh, users be able to get hold of this in a beta version <laughs> and, and test it out on uh, the open source, middle of platforms, for example? Um, the open source, um, the open source projects, V2.1 open source as a project will launch in Q4. Okay. So the community... And we should clarify, for netbooks and nettops, there's, it might be a little confusing, but there's a 2.1 refresh coming very soon. Like oh, nice. For, for netbooks and nettops, again, the core is shared, different UI, right? So when Pankaj talks about 2.1 for mids, that's a little so, later than what we'll yeah, get. Yeah, because V2.1 for mids adds the closed source space, mm -hmm. right? And the platform support and, and, and all of that other things. 